Hello and welcome back to this addendum to the previous tutorial. Previous tutorial where we we're looking at setting up the render view within Maya and the it view from Renderman Studio to correctly display renders which have been produced using a linear workflow. In other words, it's applying a gamma to them. Now, something which you may have a difficulty with, which I certainly had difficulty with, is when you save these images, the gamma is not saved by default. Let's just see what I mean. So if I go to save this image, I just right click on the image and go image and save image. And I'll save it into images folder here and I'll call it uncorrected it. Oops. Uncorrected it. Save. Okay. Let's have a look at this image we will see that it's not looking like it's been corrected. It's looking like the previous image where no gamma had been applied to it. This is intentional. Unless you tell Renderman to save out images with gamma correction encoded into them, in other words, hardwired, it doesn't do it because it expects the image to remain as long as possible in the linear format without applying a gamma. So it expects that. But if we want to save it out differently, we can. Let's have a look how. If I go and right click on my image again, within it, and then I go to apply view mapping, which is the mapping of what we're seeing here, I now go view and image, let's save image. I'm going to save this as corrected it uncorrected change to corrected okay and it's quite plain there that's okay that that is now what we would expect so the uncorrected my image viewer is being a bit stroppy and the corrected okay that's within it let's have a look at how this works within our render view if we go to file save image and our radio button here if we save the raw image that's ungamma corrected uncolor managed as it puts it here apply and close file save image and let's save it in the same directory what do we save it as yeah save it as jpeg again okay let's save it as uncorrected maya Uncorrected Maya. Save. Let's have a look and see what this looks like. Uncorrected Maya looks dark again as we would expect it to do so. If you go to File, Save Image, Save Color Managed Image, Apply and Close, File, Save Image, Save this as Corrected. Okay. Let's just make sure that's saved. It has. Okay. Let's have a look and see what this looks like. We go to our image viewer again. There's the uncorrected. Oops. There's the corrected it. Uncorrected Maya. Uncorrected it. It's not finding the file. Let's see if we can find it here. Corrected Maya, there it is. Okay, we'll see it here. Corrected Maya. Uncorrected Maya. There we go. A little bit of a hiccup there. But this is showing you the difference between the two. You can choose to save it in a linear manner or a non-linear manner. When you're working in large um, projects, you're probably going to save it in the linear manner. But if you want to have it so that it displays and you can quickly show it to an art director, you want to save it in sRGB. There we go. Just a quick addendum to the previous um, tutorial and hopefully this has been useful to you.